y'all welcome back to another vlog today is wednesday and i was just sitting here planning out my day getting everything together because i have a pretty busy day ahead of me today i finished most of my schoolwork already over the weekend so throughout the week i'm just working at my retail job and i'm also doing youtube stuff that's what i've been trying to do for the past month and it has been working out for me because i feel like i kind of get more of a free break throughout the week whenever i finish my schoolwork like towards the weekend so today we got a slam pack day i have quite a few appointments today i have a brow appointment i have a lash appointment because my lashes are throwing up gang signs as you can see right now but i have a lash appointment we're gonna fix that today and then i also have a dentist appointment today around like two looking at my schedule that i made for myself so today i have to post today's video i have to make a shorts video i have to vlog today which i'm already doing i have to edit the vlog that i'm going to film today so that it can go up on friday and i have to make the thumbnail for it and then i have to schedule next week's content and then i have to try at least to film a lock tips video because i asked y'all last week to ask me questions for the lock tips series because i haven't done a video for that series in a while and then it's just like my appointment so 12 p.m i have my lash appointment 2 p.m dentist appointment and then i think i'm going to go to my brow appointment around 11 30 so that i can just swoop in and go to my lash appointment right afterwards so that's the plan for the day. If you're wondering where I got this planner from, I got it from Target. It just says Agenda and 2022 on it. I think it's really cute. Don't mind the pen stain that I got on there. That's my black ink pen and that is nail polish. But overall, it's really cute. I like that it's like a book style so that you don't get like the rings unraveling because that happens to me a lot. But while I was sitting here kind of getting my day together, I actually went ahead and uploaded today's video already. And I made the thumbnail so I can go ahead and cross that off of my list today. So I posted the video and I made the thumbnail for it. To keep me on track with my days, to keep me productive, I like to make lists in the morning. Because if I don't, y'all, my day will just take me. The day will take me. I will not take on the day. And that is not good. So I like to just take pictures of the list that I make on my phone just so that I can kind of carry this with me throughout the day and have something to look back on whenever I'm out and about. So I'm going to do that real quick. There we go. There's our list. One of my favorite parts about making lists is checking things off. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm staying on track. So whenever I don't have my planner with me, there's actually a way that you can cross things off and draw on your screen, on your pictures. So if y'all don't know this already, all you have to do is go to this little edit right here at the bottom right corner. Uh oh, I have to log in, sorry. So you go to edit and then up here by the three little dots, there's like a little pen right there. Just click on that. Down here, you can just choose if you wanna write with a pencil, like a marker, something that looks similar to a highlighter, whatever it is. I like to do the little pen and I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna do pink and you can just like draw and cross things off on your phone. Y'all, that's something that I do every single day because if I don't, I will forget. And like I said, the day will take me. I will not take on the day. But I'm just gonna sit here and finish up on some work and I will catch y'all whenever I'm on my way to my brow appointment and my lash appointment. Okay, so I know that I told y'all I would see y'all whenever I'm going to my appointment, but I just had to ask because I've told someone that I made my steel cut oats, like my oatmeal, but specifically the steel cut oats in a crock pot and they looked at me like I was stupid. So I wanna know, does anybody else do this? Do you make your oatmeal, specifically the steel cut oats, not the regular oatmeal that's really easy to cook, but the steel cut oats I always find is just harder to make for some reason. So I like to do the steel cut oats in a crock pot and it comes out really good. I don't see the problem. Is this weird? So I have like about 30 minutes so this is gonna be done, which is perfect because when I first wake up in the morning, I'm not super hungry. So I just come in and put on my oats into the crock pot. And by the time that I'm ready to eat, it's done. I don't see the problem. Okay, I just have to share that with y'all. I will see y'all later when I'm going to my appointments for real this time. <laughs> I 
made it to my lash appointment, y'all. I meant to go get my eyebrows done before I got my lashes done, but I didn't finish what I need to get done in time to go get my eyebrows done first. So I gotta get my lashes done first. I just wanted to give y'all a little before of what they look like. Cause when I come back, they gonna look good. Here's the before. And this is the after. So I actually got my lashes done and my eyebrows and I just left my dentist appointment, y'all. I know, I was gonna check in after I got my lashes done, but y'all, we we're running a little bit behind because the person in front of me with my lash lady was not trying to pay her her full price. So we have to wait for the lady to actually pay the girl. And so now I'm going into the appointment with my lash tech having an attitude because the girl before me didn't wanna pay, but she was really professional. She was able to, you know, do me correctly even though she got really heated with the lady in front of me i appreciate her professionalism and i paid her her full price i ended up having to rush to go get my eyebrows done because my lash place and my brow place are like right next to each other and my dentist appointment is way on the other side of town and so i didn't want to go to the dentist appointment and then drive all the way back on the other side of town to get my brows done so i rushed to get my eyebrows done so they look clean and crisp and then i just left my dentist appointment my teeth are really sore. I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. So I'm supposed to be on my health kick, but I did stop by Taco Bell. But Taco Bell is not as bad as regular fast food. Let me show you what I got. I always get Nacho Bell Grande. Instead of refried beans and beef, I get black beans added instead. And then recently I started getting this burrito. This is just the cheesy rice and bean burrito and then i get a lemonade so for the rest of the day i need to make a youtube shorts video i need to schedule next week's content and film a lock tips video I think that's what I'm about to do right now. I need to go get ready real quick. All right, y'all, I'm about to do my makeup real quick for the video that I'm about to shoot. Oh my gosh, like, do y'all get these hormonal breakouts? Like, every, every time, every month, I always break out right here, right here in this little spot. It's so annoying because like my skin is never clear right here because I always, like every four weeks, I get breakouts right there, so. That is annoying. I hope I can kind of try to cover that up today. We'll see. But I'm just going to do my makeup. I have some new products that I want to try, actually. Whenever I get to my lips, I'll show y'all a little bit later. But this is a new MAC lipstick that I got for Valentine's Day. And I haven't actually, like, put it on correctly. I have tried it on, but I haven't, like, done my whole face of makeup and tried this on, like, officially. So I'm going to be doing that today for my video that I'm going to be filming. First, let's go ahead and do the face. So I'm going to moisturize my face with this Pond's moisturizer that y'all see me using all the time. I'm not going to like put my good stuff on because I'm just filming a video. I'm not going to be going anywhere after this. But I just need my face to be moisturized because makeup just applies a lot better whenever your skin is moisturized. So you really don't want to skip this step. Does anybody have any tips for covering up dark marks? Because I feel like the concealer that i use it just doesn't really cover it up that well and i don't really want to wear foundation my skin has been kind of bad lately i recently found like a skincare routine or like a maintenance routine and i swear every time i do a video related to skincare my skin flips out like a day or two later but if i don't say anything about my skin it'll look fine but every time i try to tell y'all what i'm doing tell y'all my skincare secrets or whatever i break out and then it looks like i don't know what i'm talking about you know what i mean because <laughs> i didn't broke out again all right we'll see if that kind of helps i'm going to use this really tiny beauty blender to blend in my concealer for reference this is the small one this is a regular size one i love this little beauty blender y'all because it is so precise like it's just so nice i got these beauty blenders from elf and I got it from Target, I believe. I feel like it's time for me to go get matched again, possibly for my makeup because this is like my fall and winter shade and I don't have a summer shade. Do you see how like precise like I can get my concealer with this little beauty blender? I love this. For my everyday makeup routine, I like to use this pressed powder. But since this is not an everyday makeup routine, this is a video filming a video type of look i'm going to use that loose setting powder that i normally use whenever i'm filming videos 
not even vlogging but like actually filming a sit down video so this is the one that I like to use so I actually have two both of them are by Maybelline this one is in the shade medium deep and the number 30 and then this one is a number 20 this one's a little bit lighter I think I'm gonna go for this medium deep number 30 today that's what it looks like on the inside and then I'm gonna put it right here I am by no means a makeup guru I just do my best on my own face and then ugh, I don't want to put none on my forehead because I did just get my eyebrows done so I'm not gonna put any right there and then I'm just gonna use this to dust it off a little bit probably just did this way out of order but I want to try out this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation Powder. I went and got matched for this the other day. I haven't really worn this out in public yet because I'm not sure if it like matches me correctly. What do y'all think? Does that look like it matches me? It looks like a little too yellow for me, I feel like. But I don't know. We'll see. And I'm gonna apply it with a sponge all over my face. Hey, you know what? It kind of does match. I should have done this before I put that setting powder on, but that's okay. Okay, and then for the blush, I'm just going to use the same blush that I normally always use. I Maybelline. I'm just going to do a little bit because I am going to do like a red lip today. So I don't want it to look kind of crazy like with a lot of the different colors. And then if I ever put too much blush on, I just go in with my beauty blender. And kind of help blend it out a little bit. Just like that. Alright, now let's get into this. MAC lipstick. So this is the cute little box that it came in. It's super cute. And when you open it, it just kind of gives you a preview of what's in there. Open it from the side like that. And the little bag comes out. And y'all, the cool thing about this bag is that it's like double sided. So you have this side, right? When you open it, you have some space in there. And you can flip it on the flip side. And this is where the actual products are, right here. Isn't that cool? These are the three products. The first thing that I got is this red lipstick, y'all. It is in the shade Brick the Spell. Pop it open. Oh my gosh. Look at how pretty. There's nothing prettier than a fresh tube of red lipstick you also get a, a lip liner this one is in the shade chili you also get this lip glass lip gloss and this one is in the shade woman of mystery i'm really excited to try this i think i'm gonna put all three on oh it smells so good it smells like cupcakes let's let's put this on let's try it out right now so i'm gonna start with the a lip pencil first. I'm looking a little orange right now. Let's go ahead and put the lipstick on top. This is very bright. Brighter than I thought that it was going to be, to be honest. Okay, so this is very, very bright red for me. This is not like the shade of red that I normally would choose. So to tone down this red a little bit, I'm going to take this Beauty Bakery liquid lipstick. This is actually like, now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't even really look red. It looks like maybe orange or something. Okay, that tones it down a little bit better. Almost forgot y'all to add my mascara to my bottom lashes. This just like completes the look for me. Now I need to do my hair. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my hair, y'all. I think I'm just gonna throw it up into a top knot real quick. One second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I decided on a top knot for today's video. I feel like it's something different. I haven't done this style in a really long time because I don't know, I still don't really know if I like it. You know, I will be right back, y'all, after I get done filming this video. Right, I just got done filming the video. Do you wanna see the mess? This is the mess from doing my makeup and everything like that. So I need to clean this up and I also need to go ahead and start editing because I wanna get these videos out this week because I fell behind last week. So let's clean up a little bit. Last 
last thing I think that's on my list besides edit this video is to make a shorts video for YouTube. I need to make two of them actually. Alright y'all, so I just got done filming my shorts video. I actually was able to do two. So I'm going to go ahead and cross off these things on my to-do list. I filmed my lock tips video, made my shorts. The last thing I need to do is schedule next week's content. This right here is what I like to see. I like to see most things crossed off of the list. I'm really excited that I was able to get everything done. Even with all the appointments and being set back today, I was able to get everything done. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope to see y'all in my next vlog. My hair looks kind of crazy right now. I promise it wasn't like this in the video. At least I hope not. But I'll talk to y'all in my next one. And I'm out.